When our lives continues, a look at the island nation of Cape Verde through the eyes of one of its native sons. Back in a moment. There is a very strong community of people from Cape Verde here in southwestern Connecticut. And in case you did not know, Cape Verde is a nation. It's an archipelago nation off the northwest coast of Africa. Customato Gomes of Bridgeport joins me now, and he's a poet, and his family is originally from Cape Verde. We want to thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. All right, talk about your Cape Verde roots. Cape Verde is a beautiful nation. Uh, we're uh, very, very strong in culture, um, music, um, uh, fishing, and uh, we just... Sounds like paradise. It, it, it is a paradise, <laughs> because everyone who goes there who is, who is not from there uh -huh. always comes back with great stories. And it is Creole, Portuguese, African in culture, nice mixture? Yes, it's a mixture of all. Um, we speak Creole, and, uh, but in school we're taught in Portuguese. So, you know, you're, you combine all, <laughs> both uh, uh, together, and then you have a, a phenomenal culture. And it is very close to Senegal, off the coast, um, was originally founded by the Portuguese and had a very strong tie to the slave trade. Yes, um, the Portuguese found the Cape Verde in about 1456, around that era. Um, the transatlantic slave trade was a very, very important trade route in Cape Verde, so it's about... The time when they, <laughs> they abolished slavery. They abolished slavery. And um, <laughs> until about 1975, we gained our independence, independence under Amilcar Cabral. Okay. And, and talk about the country now. It is a democracy. It is uh, yes, it's, it's thriving, always, just thriving. It's thriving. It's thriving. It's doing very well. It's always been a democracy since uh, our independence. Mm -hmm. It's a republic, a democratic. And uh, we have a prime minister and a president. Now, talk about the community here in southwestern Connecticut. Get very strong and very tight. Yes, yes, yes. Every time there's uh, some kind of event, you know, everyone comes out and supports um, in Connecticut, in uh, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. And if there's an event over there, we all also go over there. We support them. So it's a very, very tight knit community. And and some of the the things that you think set you apart as an island nation. We're very loving. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's a very good segue into your book of poetry, which was called Life, Love, and War. Yes, yes, we're very loving. Um, we, we just, we, we welcome everyone, we accept everyone. And when we, we're out in the community, we make sure we, we try to teach people about our culture because a lot of people don't know about Cape Verde and they never, you know, heard about it or haven't spoken to anyone about it. So we try to express what our nation is about. And the last time you were there? I was there about... 10 years ago, but I'm going back in the summer <laughs> ah. because my parents and family are there, so I'm going back to visit. And uh, are they aware of your writings, your book? Yes, actually, um, I've sent a few copies down there, so mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's circulating around the Cape Verdean market, so it's doing well. I'm very proud, so it makes me feel good about that. Well, we want to have you back after you go and take lots of pictures. Uh, I'm going to bring some of the pictures back. <laughs> Well, again, we want to thank you so much for coming back and talking about uh, a place that a lot of us aren't aware of, but has a really strong tie to southwestern Connecticut. So thank you for coming. Well, thank you for having me and speaking about our country. All righty. And we want to thank you for watching and make sure you like me on Facebook and you follow me on Twitter for updates on the Hour Live show. Thanks for making our lives.